Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Okay, let's continue with putting this jigsaw puzzle together. And we'll have a final layout for the main bus space with tier 1 sciences. Um, but first, we're going to need some power over here. Also, I don't know which of these... I don't know why that's... Um... Oh, I see. Okay. I need to sort out some of these fluids. Uh, so let's start with that. I think we'll get the lubricant connected for material science first. And lubricant is all the way over here. And okay. Go there. And let's see. 13. That'll probably reach. Oh. What's next? We need steel and iridium plate coming in on this belt. Which one's steel? This one? So we'll grab this again. Right about here. And iridium plate is way over here. A hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If it started a few minutes sooner, you would have raided. Oh, that's a shame. Unfortunate. I've been wanting to start sooner, but um, between the fatigue and not having my caffeine supply, it's been a bit difficult. Hopefully that'll cease to be an issue pretty soon. Okay, next is blank data cards, which uh, we have a belt for over here. I guess it doesn't really matter which, which, which one of these has the underground, except I want to put a splitter here, so... Put that there. Uh, and then we need stone and plastic. Did I actually put plastic up here? Doesn't look like it. Well, since uh, stone is at the end of the belt, may as well put plastic next to it. A Zora, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. And is that going to line up with everything? That should be fine. Okay. Let's copy all of this again. Except for this part. Because we want this to be different. Plastic. Plastic. I think I will put these big, uh, big old cargo landing pads here, even though it's going to be overkill for this base. And 
we'll use the resources here to get started quicker when we go to the rail bus. Hey, big up. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so stone on the top, plastic on the bottom. Not that that necessarily matters too much. Wait, let's check. How much does this need? Oh, 40 and 40. Okay, so this is 20 and 20. So yeah, we will need to do this belt twice. And this goes all the way down here. We're only taking from one belt here so far. Let's take from the second one. Oops. Nope. Stop. And some undergrounds. Uh, that goes there. And like so. That one from the first belt. And this one from the second. Actually, I don't know how far down this is going to be. Let's bring this belt over. Copy all those down a bit. And... I think this time we'll do it like so. And then... Um, plastic over here. Uh, Smokstar, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that should be fine for now. We also need iron and copper. Those are nice and close by. Um, which lanes have we taken iron and copper from? Is this actually the first time we've taken iron? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, and copper, we've gone from the left and from the right since we balanced them. We only need half a belt for each of these. Let's just take from the middle and then we'll rebalance it. Uh, start with this. And this. Whoops. And then take from this side. Uh, that's going to be a little bit awkward. Let's see. I think we'll probably need to... Could do it like this. Except that needs a splitter. 
Why don't we move this over a pile? And like so. And that can go straight through. And what am I doing? That won't do at all. Let's just merge them up the top and move them down a little bit. So... I think we need to do it something like this, actually. That'll do. And then we're taking from the other middle belt. Cool. That part's not looking so good. There we go. Don't know how those two bits of iron got stuck there, but it's fine. Okay, so that is... what is this? That's supposed to be iron and copper. Oh! Details. And back. Where's the stone? Oh, that would help. Okay. So we got iron and copper, stone and plastic. Lastly, we need iridium plate and concrete. Uh... Did we do concrete up here? Why is there steel in the glass thing? Okay. Um, I don't think we've got one for concrete. So I guess we'll sort that out as well. How much concrete are we going to be using here? Concrete, 3.12 per second. Very tempted to have that sent up by cannon. But then again, as I said before, we might end up using it at scale. We can easily put it into the rail network if we do this. I should really make a... Make the next one of these so it's easy to copy. Okay. Great. And then copy all this down here. That's kind of noisy. And was the other one Iridium Plate? I think it was. Iridium Plate. Okay. Doesn't matter which side they're on, does it? No. I 
It doesn't. Iridium plate. Did we already take from here? Yeah, we did. Let's take from the other side. Um, that's going to be kind of messy, actually. Let's take from here. And I forgot the concrete. details. What the? Okay, concrete. That should be a splitter. And then if I get rid of all this, these are going to swap sides. And back you go, except for this. Iridium plate on both sides. Wait, how much iridium plate do we need for the whole thing? Uh, it's fine. Let's just grab it all from the belt. And I'll take that from the third belt. See enough. I already made three eighty prod eight modules. How long did that take? Uh, I don't think I've placed power poles for this section yet. Can't really fit that there. Let's just do this. Except. We're going to have to do something in the middle here, too. And one more. Module build eats excess circuits ever since they've been made. Excess circuits. Uh, let's go here, I guess. And where's my undergrounds? Now, how am I going to fit the substation for this stuff? I would like to put it here-ish, but... I think we're going to have to do this. It's a little unsightly. And last but not least... Uh, here. And here. Doesn't go there. That's not going to reach. That's a little disappointing. It doesn't make a difference if I use a big pole here, does it? No. Uh, that's that's very disappointing. Unless one tile off hitting that. Um, what about here? That works. Uh, 
That should cover everything. Cool. And this is definitely trash. Um, how much trash does this whole thing make? Max speed. Let's see. 37 plus 49. Wow. Okay. And what, there's presumably some junk data cards in there. Yep. So we are actually going to need two belts for that. Um... I'm beginning to wonder if we're actually already going to be exceeding two belts of trash total for the entire system. And away we go. I think we'll connect this like so. Okay, so for the trash things, we've got those connecting over here. Probably like this. Just want to make sure I get rid of all the void pipes and other purple things before I hook this all up and try and get it to run off a real base. Okay, so we've got lubricant here already. Um, probably should have brought these pipes down first. And should I connect lubricant from up there, or... I think this will probably be cleaner. very well. Bring that over a smidge. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we need a connection right about here. I don't have any 3Bs. And a five. What else? We need to connect up contaminated cosmic water. And lubricant over here as well. I think in this instance... We'll bring it over here. And here as well. Still lacking a stone belt in? Stone belt? Oh, do you mean the concrete? No? Well, we'll get there. Um, I guess we could do with it this one. All right. 
may be a little bit redundant. I'm pretty sure the maximum rate of lubricant is quite slow. Let's get rid of this one. Okay. Uh, what about power? I've still got a bunch of substations to place. Should be relatively easy. It doesn't quite reach. Need some up here as well. Either or. And then over here. Again with the not quite reaching about here. That's kind of fast. Okay, so trash items all go up there. Let's just double check that's not going to overwhelm one belt. 37. It's getting there. Uh, what else doesn't have power here? And this is working. Fantastic. What about this one? It's not getting material testing packs. Have they just not saturated the belts yet? Let's check our ratio. Even though I'm sure we did this before. Material testing pack is plus three. That should be fine. There goes our uh, catalogs. Insights. And significant data is on the way. Fantastic. Okay. Next we need, um, nothing actually. Oh, that's right. Didn't I want this to be part of the next build? Which science pack was it? Uh, I think I clicked the wrong one. Yeah. It's, uh, this one I'm pretty sure. Let's just double check. So this part requires 36.4 plasma stream per second. This is 34. I'm pretty sure this alone would overproduce. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're definitely putting um, bioscience down here. I guess I could have stuck this up here might be a bit neater let's try it so that 
goes there. This goes here. Still lacking a stone belt in at the bottom. Near the full iridium, cool thermofluid, non cool thermofluid, and still the stone lined with plasma. True. Uh, let's see, we've gone left, middle left, right. Let's go middle right. Uh, like so. And then... Any more purple things here? No? I thought for sure there'd be some more void pipes or something. Okay. So, for plasma, we require chemical gel. Chemical gel... I guess we'll do a big long pipe going this way. Start with a fiver. And the remainder needs to be seven and three. And then we need this to find its way up here. Uh, I guess maybe this would make more sense. Did I just delete? Nope. Okay. Are both top and bottom lubricant lines connected to each other? Over here? Yes, they are. Although, currently it looks like there's no lubricant here. 10.7 in the entire system. Uh, probably because I didn't do this part yet. That needs a 7, 5, and 3. Okay, so we can see those are in motion. Here we're still missing... Oh, okay. That would probably help. Let's move these over a tile. And... Out of 3B. And that's all of these in motion. Fantastic. Now we're down to coolant, and just to double check, we only need the negative 100 and the 25, I believe. Looks like it. Alright, so these are connected. These are connected. And the coolant needed here. We need those two to be connected as well. What's the best way to do that? Maybe over here? Hmm. Running out of space if I do that. Unless I find another path for this stuff. It should probably go up this way anyway. That looks like it's a bit much. Can we squeeze it in here? And it's 
this one. Start with a seven. No, oh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Okay. How many tiles is this? Seven. And then we need our negative uh, 100 bullet. I think we can do that here. And then we just need to get it back to the fluid bus. I guess we could squeeze it through here. Let's see. Just like that. How do we get one right in the middle? Oh, I know, we do three fives. And then... Just need this to go through here. And we're good. Everything moving. Cool. Okay. Next is... Uh, let's just double check there are no cheat items over here. Except for removing the final product. That's affirmative. Um... Let's get bioscience in its place. I'll keep these here just so I know what goes where more easily for now. And... I don't want to put it too close. Make sure we leave some room for some pipes and stuff. Right, so where are we going to get our plasma from? Could go this way, maybe? What is that there for? Also, Aheo Soro. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Purple pipe go bye bye. Oops. Let's get rid of that for now. Might be easier to connect the plasma stream from here. Oh, we're out of range of the robots. Okay, what's next? We've at least got some substations in here, but not enough. One 
jump here. That's annoying. I feel like medium poles might actually be the neatest solution for this part. Oh, that's very annoying. Uh, how about you go over here? And... Someone... Let's just check that all of this is getting power. Looking good. Oh, I definitely need to revisit these pipes over here. Alright, one thing at a time. Middle? What about the middle? Oh, for power? No, I thought I saw that flash. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. There we go. Literally just one inserter. Sneaky. Oh, look. Even more things that we need to bring up from the ground. Okay. Let's put this here for now. And what's this? Iron and glass. Iron we've only taken from the outside belts. So we can do it like this. Um, except we kind of need to connect that like so. And glass. Uh, let's see. Glass is... We've taken from each side, it looks like. Nope, just one. Okay. And what's next? Vita Melange. Two different kinds. Alright, so this pipe obviously doesn't go anywhere. Let's follow it. This is bio sludge. We're definitely gonna have a main pipe for that. This is self contained. This is bio sludge and cosmic water. Okay. Cosmic quarter. How's this going to fit together? It's not. Yeah, there's no neat way to do that. No need for an underground here. Uh, but I think I'll do it anyway. And 
coal needs to come over here. Which belts have we stolen from for coal? None of them, actually. Okie dokie. Let's just take from the nearest one. And then... We also need bio sludge. And we are going to connect that up to the main line. Uh, there we go. I guess that'll have to do. And is this bio sludge? I don't believe it is. Uh, bio sludge needs to go to here. Can we perhaps do it like this? Oh, that's that's a little bit tragic. Except this pipe doesn't actually do anything at the moment. So we can go... Oh, never mind. Um, here. And then... Oh, good fit. How do you get the creative slash purple items? I'm new to trying things out in cheat mode and couldn't find them. Maybe I'm dumb? No, I'm pretty sure it is the mod that I'm using. It's called Editor Extensions. Um, as you can see on the right there, if you look at the blue text. Very handy. Oh, we also need... Um, uh, we also need chemical gel going into this. Oops. Thank you, no worries. Alright, so chemical gel. And unfortunately, we're going to have to... There's no way to... Wasn't there a way to get 14? It was like 9 and 5, wasn't it? 9... And 5 and 1. We're also gonna need a power pole over here. Is that everything powered? Gonna need some vitamin lunch. And that means we're gonna need even more rocket silos. Uh, landing pads, or other. Okay, let's get to it. Let's 
just make sure. Alright, so it was Vitamelange Spice and Vitamelange Extract, right? Or were there nuggets involved? I forgot to keep those so that I could tell. Um, that one's definitely Extract, and it only goes here. Spice is required here. Okay, yeah, so it's Spice and Extract. Spice. Extract. And some infinity chests. And we will be needing some belts going all the way down. Um, to about here. The size of this thing really is a bit crazy. Okay. Don't remember which is which. I think uh, extract is on the top. So I've probably got it backwards for which way would have been more convenient. No big deal. Okay. Why was that belt slower? That's kind of weird. I'm gonna need an obscene amount of um, scaffolding as well, but luckily we've probably already got it. Alright, let's check. Are there any magic purple things here? Besides the final product, I see a void pipe here somewhere. Wait, what? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. No more void pipes or anything. Alright, let's get this thing working. So, this part's looking pretty obvious. That's unfortunate. Uh, is this contaminated? And then this one. Five, six, seven is not going to be enough. Unfortunate. You can just delete all the scaffolding that's not built on. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing that. Um, I think uh, for a lot of this I won't be using bots to uh, to build. Especially because to start with we'll just be building one of each building as required. And we'll upgrade it to have better throughput later on. Uh, that's unfortunate. Can we maybe... 
do that. There we go. Okay. What's next? Uh, this is contaminated cosmic water, which we do have here. That seems like the best way to do that. And then... What's this one? Contaminated bio sludge. I wish I could highlight... Uh, make it so that... I could highlight how all the pipes are connected. So this is connected to the middle here. That one goes over here. Lubricant. Lubricant might be tricky. Oh, and we've got more... Okay, so that contaminated is connected over there. This one is here. Okay, that's good. We've got that one connected. This uh, chemical gel needs to be connected somewhere. And... It's going to be over this way, I think. Oh, that lines up almost perfectly. There's an underground but no normal at the output. Underground but no normal. For a pipe or for a belt? Oh, yeah, there we go. And that just leaves lubricant, I think. Oh, we also need the regular old coolant. Could we maybe connect it to this thing? Is that okay? Let's check the rate calculator for the coolant. 141 thermofluid at 25 degrees is the output. Cold thermo is only 147. I think we can get away with... Uh, attaching the thermo fluids here. So let's see. It's actually not a particularly convenient place to do that, but I think we'll be okay. That's annoying. I wonder where this belt goes. Oh, that's um junk data. That's going to go back the other way. But in any case... This is going to be su surprisingly annoying to connect here as well. Maybe I should have made things a little bit more spacious. Sorry I don't know space exploration. I'm spoiling myself with you. No worries. Uh, Zaikino, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. T Hex reading chat in reverse order. Yeah. Miss a pipe at output machine. Purple left one. Uh oh. Why are things being destroyed? What? What? Was there a media? I'm guessing there was a media. On left of genetics facility. 
Oh, good call. Thank you. And the motion definitely illustrates that pretty well. There's no way to get this fluid out from the middle here, is there? Oh, here we go. Let's grab a fiver. And that's this one. Nina and so. Okay, so those are connected now, and then we just need this one, I think this will be the way to go, cool. If I were ever to do a grand redesign of this, I think the uh, coolants would maybe start on the left side of all these things. Okay. Seems like everything's working. Um, bio sludge, there's 6.3k. Let's see if... Let's see if it's self-perpetuating. Bio sludge empty. And I remember having an issue whereby there's so much room on the belts to fill up with genetic data and um uh, biocultures and such that it's actually set up so that it takes more to get the loop started we'll probably end up having to is it this one? no which machine makes the um, bio sludge from fish? there we go We'll probably end up having to make a bunch of bio sludge from fish or something, or wood. Um, to get the whole thing started anyway. And it stopped. How could I make the tightest loop possible to... I would have to build the entire bioscience, but as small as possible, right? In order to make it so that it loops around with the minimum of bio sludge. I guess I could do that just by building as few machines as possible, and maybe even picking things up off the belt so it doesn't have to fill the belt. Pumps? Um... Maybe. Oh, I forgot an important component um, that we've actually removed from this build for the moment. Uh, we need to do a processing area for the contaminated stuff up here as well. We'll ignore that for the moment. And I just want to make sure... Junk data cards. I think we need to add a belt for that. OK. 
Okay. How fast does this make junk data cards? A few per second. That's fine. Junk data card. So we're just going to have some shared belts taking various kinds of trash all the way back uh, to a central processing area. But now I'm just going to delete this stuff. You need to clean the dirty waters to maintain the loop. Also, hi. Hey, Mass420. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Took about half an hour to figure out what happened. I thought I had lost my K2 and SpaceX playthrough with the latest update. That's kind of scary. I'd better make a backup before I update. Alright, so that seems to be working for now. I think before... How many of these have we got? One, two, three. So one more special science to build. And... Who knows how much room it needs. Which ones have we made so far? Biomaterial and energy. So that just leaves... Uh, I nearly said blueprint. Uh, astronomical science pack one. Oh, I forgot how big this is. Um, let's. Well, first of all, let's um make sure there's plenty of room here. And let's put that. Right about here. That should be fine. Oh, nope. Move it down a bit. Wait, why is this stuff still there? Let me just make sure. Okay. Astronomical science pack number one. And... So, first of all, we need glass, steel, and coal. Uh, let's double check how much of it we actually need. Still hasn't finished building. 47.6 per second each, but I have this set up with one belt. I'm going to guess that this will overproduce enough to more than satisfy all of this. Yeah, okay, 45 per second is enough. Um, so... Glass, steel, and coal. Let's remove that for now. Now this is a build? Yeah, well, it's a little overkill, I think. <laughs> Probably. I mean, to be fair, all I did was start with one of these machines with no speed modules, pick a science pack, and go, okay, we're going to build to be able to keep this thing going at full speed. Turns out this is what it takes for each of those science packs, and that's with these things full of speed modules. But we don't have to build it all at once. Um, we can just build the minimum number of machines to get started, and we can scale up as much as we like. Let's grab all of these. 
and like so. Rome wasn't built in a day, <laughs> indeed. You'll be ready for infinite research when this is fuel fueled fully? I don't know about that. I mean, it'll definitely help with the infinite research. But yeah, this is this has turned out so much bigger than I expected. Like, literally two or three times bigger than I had in mind. But... Hey, if it's overkill, if we if we've got way more stuff on the bus than we need, I'll just have it feed train stations, and it'll be uh, it'll help bootstrap a rail block system. It'll be ready. Okay, let's see. Uh, glass and steel. And coal is way over to the right. Oh. Uh, no, we need a full belt of coal. No cheating. Coal goes here. Um. Let's just do that for the moment. Now, let me double check. And steel, we're taking from the left, and from the left, and from the left, and from the left. That doesn't seem like the best idea. Uh, how much steel do we need for everything? Let's just check. And uh, thank you for the applause, Velda. I'm sure I'm going to make 960 SPM because I mathed, but I will use tier 9 modules. And I use way less machines, so with modules. That's a good point, actually. Although, if we were using belts with modules like that, um, I don't think we're going to be able to keep up. Uh, let's see, the whole thing only uses 54 steel, 51 coal. But even so... Um, Steel shouldn't be taking from the same side of the belt every time. Uh, let's change this one first. Might be easier. And... This one will go here. Okay, so left, middle, left, right, left again. That's probably fine. Let's go right, middle for this one. And what remains? Glass. Left side, right side. And that's it, actually. Okay. Like so. My build is on the edge of what I can do via half a belt of science output. Um, not sure if I understand. Via half a belt of science output. Also, there's no way to... I hate that a substation can't reach across these things. Okay. Let's just... Do what we can here. And on the other side as well. Don't even connect the wires. Oh, that's... Unfortunate. What if we put this here? There we go. Point three seven belts of each science. To count insert a throughput as well. 
Okay. So let... It looks like um, astronomical science is going to be a lot easier when it comes to connecting the pipes and stuff. Okay, no magic stuff over here except for getting rid of the output. We also need to add removing the um, data cards. What? Oh, I wonder why I did that. It's kind of weird. Let's remove that. So this is going to be the final... Uh, final one for blank data cards, at least for now. Uh, this is trash items. Bring that through there. But we also... I guess... Uh, I want to merge that. That's fine. Light data card. Wait, what? Junk data card. And then get rid of any void pipes and stuff. I guess I could do a deconstruction planner, right? Infinity loader. Why are there two of them? Uh, infinity pipe. Okay. And, of course, I don't have that in my hand now. That's kind of annoying. Alright, so that gets rid of the infinities. Except for this. This is 25 degree. Oh, we need light oil as well. I didn't think we were going to need any of the three primary fluids. Luckily, I left some extra pipes here. Light oil. Where is it? So we need light oil. We need negative 100 degree. And we need 25 degree. And I think that's it, right? Where does this go? That'll do. Alright. Where's the easiest spot to connect all these up? Do it like this. It's a pretty good start, actually. And seven, five, and three. And then it runs this twenty five degree. Too much. This is it, right? 25 degree. And then that just leaves the negative 100. Which we could put right about here. Let's 
three, uh, five, and seven. Well, that turned out surprisingly neat. Now we just need power for this thing. And over here as well. Oh, I would have thought one of these would be connected. I see. I guess that'll do. Okay. That's looking nice and fast. Why are things breaking? It must be a media strike. Yeah, yeah, it is. Beautiful. And we got catalogs, which means we've got uh, astronomic insights, which means we've got everything here. Hey, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All four tiers of each science. No, we've only got tier one of each science here. Not counting the deep space. Looks like one inserter needs some space-powered juice. Was that the one uh, over here? A Creakly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. So, we're going to get one of these. Eventually. That was to Veldak. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Okay, significant data has what it needs. Now we just need to deal with the trash. Which is going back this way. That might be a slight problem, but nothing too difficult. Uh, I guess we'll connect this up here. Don't really need two belts. Wait, let's confirm. Actually, you know what? On the off chance, let's keep this extensible. Okay. So that one should be working. Uh, why have, why has this one got zero finished products? Because we haven't done that loop yet. This one is looking good. Fresh items all go through here. And as for this one, that should be fine. And then we're back to... I can't believe how small this build is. A regular old um, rocket science. Except that we're dealing with the trash elsewhere, so that's sort of an externality. So now, we need to build a system that deals with scrap, contaminated scrap, and... How much contaminated scrap does the entire base produce? Let's see. Contaminated? 52.78. Wow. Okay. 
I think we're gonna end up bottlenecking on these two belts for scrap. Um, that's for dealing with regular scrap. We can keep extending that as far as we need. Contaminated scrap gets dealt with here. 34 point... I think we just need to double this. Oh, we're not dealing with junk data cards yet, either. That was the last thing. So, I got rid of the machine that deals with it. I think it's a computer? Let's see. Data formatting. Junk data card plus fluid. Uh, fluid usually makes a blank data card. I would actually kind of like to put that down here, if I can. How many junk data cards does the entire system make at maximum speed? Wait, is that... Waves to the little inserter that can't? Uh-oh. Uh, 14.6 uh, junk data cards per second. Yikes. And this can only deal with 0.66. Uh, make that 1.2. So we need like 11 or 12 of these. We need more than 12. That's 14.4. Yikes. Okay. Um, I guess we'll have to run this belt back up this way. Can probably make room for it here, though. Uh, can we maybe do it like this? Actually. We also need to deal with broken data cards. Okay, that's probably a little bit overkill. 19.2 16 14.4 Technically we need an odd number of these. Sad. Okay, how do we deal with the broken data card? Uh, we turn it into scrap with a recycling facility. How do I... This... Recycling facility. Um, oh, here it is. Broken data card. And we're going to need multiple of these as well. Let's see, probably looking at five of these. That's 2.6 per second, 4.52 per second. We need nine. I guess we could send the broken data cards back up this way, but I don't really see the point of that. Um, could we maybe move all of this over a tile? Can we fit nine of these here? We're just going to have enough space in this area, I think. Uh, 
but that's too close. Move all of this over a tile. Let's see. I'll add some inserters. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we need to make sure we don't. Uh, we could separate them with a splitter first, or we could. Oh, there's no room for the output on this side. That's going to be annoying. Uh, long it on inserter. I think I just thought of something that might be how the cheats get disabled. Nope, that's not it. Okay. That's pretty easy to deal with, actually. Wait, what am I doing? It's the same belt. Uh, let's see. We got a max rate of... Uh... Hold on. I've ratioed this for 15.6 uh, junk data cards, but we're never going to make that many. Let's see. Junk data card. What? 14.4. Okay. We probably still need nine of these. 4.16 versus 4.52. Each of these does 0.52. Maybe we could get away with only eight of these machines, but I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, so let's see. We're going to have blank data cards and broken data cards coming down here. We need scrap to be thrown out this way. And through here. And I think the easiest way to do this would just be like data card goes this way and get rid of this out through here. So I'm sure we can do a little bit better than the default there. Uh, not in this instance. Okay. Give it a little merge over here. Alright, that should take care of that. Now we just need to hook up. Junk data cards need to all come over here. Um, 
This part might be a bit of a problem. Let me think. We do have a little bit of space left down here. I can probably just move all of these down a few tiles. But we need junk data cards. Hey, Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I guess that can go there. And if we do it like this. Oh, that's not that difficult, actually. Except this has to go through here. That's going to be a problem. I think we will move this down a few tiles. Like so. Okay. And this thing's going to have to move. Uh... All of this stuff can get moved up a few tiles. Probably there. Uh, that might be a problem. I lost the... Oh, there it is. Let's just shove that over there for now. We need some... Did I really only gain that many tiles? We could move this down one more tile at least. And this can do... We could do an underground here. Okay. That connects there. Do a belt like so. Two, four, six, Now we just need to connect this somewhere. Let's start by getting this thing connected to here. Let's just double check actually, that is negative 10 and this needs negative 10. All right, three. Five, seven, whoops. And then... Where's the best spot to connect this fluid here? If that one goes there, we could have a pipe go through this way, and 
that'll work. Okay. Five, uh, that's four, seven, Now, which one was it? This is negative, uh, this is positive 25 degree, which I think is this one. Oh. Start with a three and a seven. So that should be all we need to deal with the Chunk data cards, even if everything was going full speed. And uh, how good of a spot can we get for the substations down here? Almost really good. That'll do. Then we just give it some power. It's alive. Fantastic. Oh, um, we definitely need to priority merge, uh, these ones. And hopefully that should keep everything ticking along. Alright, so that just leaves scrap and contaminated scrap coming up here. Um... Considering the whole thing can produce more than 45 contaminated scrap per second. Let's check the ratio, actually. I won't even bother looking at the junk data cards for now. Forty-one plus fifty-two. Yikes. That's more than two belts. Oh dear. I guess we're bottlenecking on the scrap belts. Actually, let me just move this. How much scrap can this deal with? Only 15 per second. Okay. Um. I don't know what the shape of this whole thing is going to be. I don't want to move this out of the way for now. We can always add another belt or two to deal with the scrap. But for now I think I'll just pretend that two belts can handle everything. So, first of all, I think we need two of these. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, and that can deal with six... Oh, it can produce 69 scrap. Contaminated scrap, it can deal with 69. That'll do. Put that somewhere like here, and uh, we need to 
We need like double rows of these. Oh, it also produces heavy oil. Lovely. Okay. I guess a just a big row of them couldn't hurt, but I think I'd rather do rows of two. Iron, copper, stone, and oil. How many does this deal with? 10.4 per second. Uh, I think we were aiming for like 45, right? Or even more than that. Especially when we consider how much scrap this could make. 23. Okay. Scrap. 65? Jeez. Okay, so we'd literally need like 25 of these machines or more to keep up. That's a lot. It's kind of crazy actually. It's 41. And that's 67. Perfect. Alright. I think we should do the heavy oil output on the outside, actually. I think we'll do, um, uh, my inventory full? And can we remove this for a sec? Uh, what's the maximum output of this? Fairly slow. So let's, um, you know what, this is so long, I kind of want to... I kind of want to split it up a bit. What's this? 13. Unfortunate. Where does the scrap output go here? Down this belt. Probably make that go the other way. Except then... Oh, that's the wrong one. Alright, I guess we'll move all of this up a bit. And... Is that going to be too close? Make sure we have room to get rid of the oil. Uh, whoops. Alright, output belt down the middle. Inputs on the sides. Uh, Ten's Dungeon. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's do like so. Four. And one more. Copy this and flip it around. I am, thanks. Good to hear. 
Okay, and that goes there. One, two. Look at the size of it. Okay. So how fast are we going to be making 6.76 6 stone, copper, and iron per second? Uh, we're actually going to need more than one of these machines each, I think. Yep. Uh, we're gonna need three of them, except for stone. No, we're gonna need... Well, we're gonna turn stone into glass. I almost forgot. Uh, that's gonna be easier. Alright, let's just con uh, compare this. We're going to slightly bottleneck on getting rid of the iron if we only double the smelting. And we've got enough to deal with... Uh, we don't quite have enough to deal with the stone. Seems a good factory. Have a nice day. Alright, thanks for dropping by. Take care. Now I see where my problem was, not enough scaffolding. Not enough scaffolding? Uh, Gregorio Gregorio? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't particularly like having to do this, but... I think we need... Uh, two of these machines. For each resource. We can just do some uh, splitters to filter the outputs. Iron ore. And I'll put it over here. Same thing for copper. Maybe I could move those robopods over a bit. Nah, uh, it'd get in the way of glass. Okay. This one is copper or... Wait, I think... Don't we need three of these? Copper or... Yeah, we need another one. That's a little bit upsetting. Alright, let's move all of this up a little bit. And as for glass, I don't know if we're going to need three machines to smelt it or not. Where could I fit this? I 
made 400,000 scaffolding so far. Yikes. Yeah, it adds up when you're, um, when it's two-dimensional pretty quickly. How fast is an individual machine here? 13 cent per second. I think we need double uh, stack inserters for that. 6.5 in. Maybe even... I'll just make sure I leave room. So that is stone in, sand out. And... How much uh, stone are we talking here? It's 6.76 stone per second. Oh. One of these machines can just barely not keep up with that. That's a little sad. Um, but just to get a better idea... 9 per second... Per second. Close enough. 7 per second gives us 14 cent per second, and this is way more than we need. Uh, still more than we need, but... well, no. Uh, two machines is... Correct for that. Fourteen versus fourteen point four. Cringe. Okay. That'll do. So I think that is everything. We just need to connect this up here. And like so. Might see might need some stack inserters for input for the contaminated scrap. Uh in which case. Probably gonna want to move this. Move this pipe up a bit. Have a splitter. And have at least one stack inserter for input for each of these. Yeah, that looks about right. A Axolotl uh, TV. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good day, all. Good stream as always. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So let's see if we can get this thing in motion. We need to connect the fluids up though. Missing pipe on the right one? Oh, for the uh, oil? Yeah. Heavy oil... Um, that doesn't quite line up. Where should I... Next this? How about... Like so? Almost works. That's not going to reach. We need this to connect here anyway. Could probably rearrange these so that 
can do the pipes. How many tiles is this actually? Almost exactly nine. Uh, that should be okay. So that's the heavy oil. Um, I do have a system in place, I think, to make sure we don't fill up the heavy oil. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. And we need to connect these up. Oh, there's no substations for these. With CDs. We can't get a sub to reach across both sides unless we do a squiggly belt. I think this is a perfectly reasonable time to do that. Let's move all of this over a tile. One, two. And put some substation goodness over here. And we should be able to output like so. Uh, let's check. So far, so good. Could we maybe alternate these? And obviously there's some extra inserters there we don't need. Oh. Oh, there's way more extra inserters than I thought. Let's see. You, 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 you. That's actually all we need. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit different, I think. Alright, does that do it? Where's the substation? Here. That's looking good. Okay, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, fifteen. Perfect. And then we just connect these, and we're good. Fantastic. Hey, Angie. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Intertooth, good to see you again also. Awesome cat as well. Missing pipe on the right one still. 
Or was that the same one from before? I think we're good. Alright, so that should be functional. Now we need to test... Uh, so why have we not got scrap coming up here? Is it because the science is finished? Yeah. Alright, let's put one of these here. And... One of these here. Actually, I should probably blacklist the junk data cards for this testing. And this one. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five. That's all of them. Oh, and we won't need to use the fish to make bio sludge because we'll get that from the contaminated scrap, right? Turns into contaminated bio sludge, which then gets turned into bio sludge. All right. So let's see if we can't remove all of these uh, cheat fluids. Uh, this pipe is the water. And then we need the chemical gel, which is supposed to be in here. We've got no petroleum for some reason. I'll figure that out in a moment. What's next? Bio sludge. Made that more difficult than it needs to be, I think. Bio sludge is here and here. It would be too easy if that lined up. I think I'll still connect it like so. That's a bit too long. Just barely. No, it's 14 tiles. What's next? Contaminated number one and two. Um, these two should probably connect. And uh, where is it going to come out? 
Let's deal with this one first. Might be a little bit easier. Perfect. And then contaminated bio sludge. That's a little bit unfortunate. So contaminated bio sludge goes up here and here. I think we'll just have to connect it like this. and a three. And we also need to connect a regular cosmic water up here. That's getting a bit tight, but I guess it's fine to just squeeze it in this way. Where does the cosmic water go? Here and here. And that's all. We need to connect these to each other. That's not quite helpful. It goes there. Goes there and this goes here, and then this comes down this way, maybe. I guess it has to. Okay, that should be it. That should give us our bio sludge loop, I think. Oh. Contaminated scrap, contaminated scrap. Why is there regular scrap here? Um Probably because I didn't take it off this belt yet. Do we still have room to do that? On this side, it's going to be pretty easy. And on this side... Guess we can do it like this. Pipes in the way. 
What if I move this over a tile? And then that doesn't go there. Okay. Let's empty these parts of the belt temporarily. That should be the last of the scrap. Undo doesn't seem to do anything when I've been placing these ones. Mr. Pipe, top left, green fluid. Oh, true. Thank you. What? Okay. And that should theoretically give us our loop. Fantastic. Let's forget some power for these. Unfortunately, I can't just... Is that enough? I guess we could just move this down a tile. Bottlenecking on the fast inserter. Still bottlenecking on the fast inserter. I mean, the stack inserter. Nope, wait, it's actually the sand. That's fine. Okay. And... Uh, we kind of need, for testing purposes, to empty some of this. Um... So, can we maybe... Everything less than a thousand. Okay, what about... Oh, that's not even going in there. It's it's not going into this container, it's going straight to the main boss, but... That's not going to be... Well, it is going to priority use it compared to this stuff. Are we going to be net consuming iron, copper, and glass? I would, I should think so, right? Iron plate. Hmm. I could have sworn I... I guess I need to include this part. Oops. Also, this can go. Okay, iron plate, copper plate, and glass. Net rate, negative 34. Okay. I could be wrong, but... It should maybe be sufficient that what comes down this belt 
will get consumed as a priority compared to this. A robust. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where we're getting backed up on the hmm. Maybe we should have this stuff get put into storage. Yeah, I think that is... Uh, in that case, we're going to need to move these uh, robot parts. Actually, we could have moved all of this down a few tiles. Oh well, I'm not going to bother moving that for now. So, instead of this... Uh, is a fast inserter good enough? Probably not. 9.75 per second. Probably not going to be making that much glass. 4.4 per second. I think a single stack inserter will do. I guess that's it. And that's got that belt moving again. Are we actually draining it though? Let's have a look up here. Oh, that's looking good. So, as soon as we see all of these inserters can move properly, um, that should tell us that the recycling loop is not going to block the rest of the base. Are we stuck on stone? I don't think so. Let's just double check this rate. Uh, we're definitely consuming stone faster than we make it. It's just going to take a little bit to see this final part moving properly. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. I wonder if I should put a lane balance here. Because everything's stuck on this side. And it has a tendency to block this stuff. But it should all get consumed to the point where this is empty. Yeah, it's getting there. It's fine. Cool. So what fluids are missing? Uh, we haven't done anything about thermofluid yet. Uh, I think we'll probably do that over here. Lubricant needs to come all the way from over here. Unless I want to move it, except lubricant is feeding the uh, cosmic water over here as well. Why is there no heavy oil? Three heavy oil. Everything less than 20k. Waiting for space in dust. Oh, so we're, we are inserting the coal. Don't tell me all this is not enough to keep up with the whole base. Um, 
we're looking at net 572 heavy oil. Oh, we seem to be gaining it. So we just haven't got all of those machines going at full speed yet. I think. Yeah, it's just a bit scarce over this side. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get lubricant over here. Um, where's the best way to do that? Probably through here. That doesn't quite work. Can I move this? Yes. Okay. That should be reasonable. Let's grab a 15er. And... Wonder how we're going to get through this. Probably this way. That doesn't quite work. We'll just have to do a couple of corners, I think. Oh, so many storage tanks. Yeah, got to make sure I have enough, right? Uh, let's do a fiver over here, maybe a 3B. That'll connect, that's not good. And... Like so. Let's get rid of this. That leaves light oil. Goes over here. And here. Unfortunate that that doesn't quite reach. Uh, And these two are still vacant, which is fine. Um, okay, so we need three different temperatures of thermofluid. Which machine do we use? Thermofluid. No. Thermofluid. Here we go. Space Manufactory, Thermal Radiator, those are what I'm thinking of, and Hypercooler. Although, I didn't realize we need Space Manufactory to make these. Iron and Copper, I need to get that from the main bus. Sulfur, we get from Fluids. Thermofluid, 25 degrees. We could make it from this stuff, but we don't have cryonite rods. I don't want to add one more thing I need to bring up from the ground. Okay, so this just goes through a radiator to become a different temperature. Radiator. Pretty sure we only have tier one. Okay, negative 10 degrees, oh, how do I make the negative 100 degree thermofluid? Do I need a tier 2? Uh, 
Negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. I don't remember how I made negative 100. Oh, hypercooler. Okay. And that takes in negative 10 and turns it into negative 100. It also spits out 25 degree. Oh, I guess it's like a heat pump. Okay. I can add cryonite slush to make it, to make more of it into cold thermofluid. I can turn cold into super cold. And cold into super cold. Okay. We're only interested in this one for now. So that spits out negative 10. This takes negative 10 as an input. And let's figure out the net rate that we're going to need for all the coolant. Not that much, apparently. I'm very skeptical of this. Uh, net is 31.87 per second. A cool thermofluid. And regular thermofluid. 2,000? That's a lot. Oh wait, it's net rate positive 2,000. That's because it's... Okay, that's kind of hard to tell because when a recipe spits out some 25 degree because it needed... because it was being turned into 25 degree from 100 or negative... Uh, negative 100 or negative 10. It considers that to be producing it. Um... I think we'll just build it here and make sure that we can extend it out to the side. So, we'll do something like this. Um, can we fit? I think instead of trying to fit storage tanks like that, we'll just do it like so. We've done it this way before, actually. Um... Make sure those line up. Oh, I don't think we can put these next to each other. Almost always you get back the 25 degree thermofluid without a loss, just need to top it up. Yeah. So it's pretty hard to math out how much we actually need, so I'm just gonna uh, build a layout that we can extend out to the side indefinitely if we need more. Okay, so... Cold comes in... Negative 10 comes in, 25 and 100 comes out. There's no way... Oh, whoops. There's no way we can put these next to each other, is there? Yeah, actually. So then... We're not going to be able to put those two together, though. Alright, I think it's going to be better if we just put these a couple of tiles apart. That's going to be a seven... Uh, goes here somewhere, and that's going to be a seven. It's 
is probably exactly the design I ended up making before. Um... I guess we could always put these together. It's not going to repeat very well, is it? No. Maybe like this? Substation goes here. And I guess we could do some underground. It takes 10. This would actually be cheaper. Although it does represent more stack size. And then we just need to have some storage for each of them. Um, but where does the 25 degree thermofluid come from? Iron yeah, it's going to be this one. Iron plate, copper plate, sulfur, cosmic oil, heavy water. Where can we bring those things together? Iron and copper are here. Oh, we've run out. Jeez, that did not take long. Uh, sure. Let's put... Where are my inserters? Iron plate. Copper plate. I'll worry about limiting them a bit later. Glass. Oh, whoops. Glass. Almost always you get back, yep, uh, some of the machines don't get power in that substation placement. Oh. Well, phooey. Okay. So, iron and copper... We've already got copper here, but I don't really want to steal from that. No matter how you look at it, we're going to be belting some stuff a significant distance to get this done. Unless... Uh, unless, unless... Sulfur... We could pipe the water and uh, petroleum over here to make the sulfur and put this nice and close to the iron and copper. Like here, maybe? It's actually a pretty good spot. Um, I definitely want to leave room for some storage. We need to make sure... Uh, that we're able to not overproduce with these things. And one for... Thermo fluid as well. Oops. Uh, 
That's weird. Oh, I see. Okay. So, move all that down a little bit. And... Demo fluid. I guess we could put the belt here. We're not bringing heavy oil down this way, are we? We could. I think there's a gap in the lube pipe. Uh, whereabouts? Below. Speed module for cooling. And the middle half are not aligned. Middle half are not aligned to pipes. Middle half. Oh, true. Rip. And yeah, we may as well put speed modules in these. Um, just to reduce the number of machines. I have to say, the finishing up part of designing this base is definitely taking longer than expected. Right, so this one is the 25 degree. Wait, won't this one be 25 degree as well? Yes. Yes, it will. Um... Let's connect this over here, and give me some threes, and a five, and we could probably just connect this up like so. Turn these around a bit. That way this belt can go straight through here. We need some iron and copper. Which side of the belts have we taken from here? Left side, right side, middle left. Make this one middle right. No need for a... Balancer just yet. Whoops. Nope. Stop. 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 And copper is probably... Oh, that's just been rebalanced. Okay, left, right, middle left, middle right. I kind of want to... Let's see, we've done right side... Right, middle, twice? Uh-oh. Oh, we did that on purpose. Left twice, left middle twice, right middle twice, right once. How much copper does this need? Four per second each. I think what I'll do is take from the right side. And then we'll put this here. That's a lot. Okay. Um, we are going to need sulfur. Why 
One to four, huh? The thing is, I really have no idea what kind of scale we need for this part. Let's just start with one set of each of these machines. And we'll add to it as needed. I will leave those substations there, though. So it's quite clear how that's going to repeat. We need to put some pumps to limit the production of this stuff. And like so. Okay. Everything less than 12,000. Keep it half empty. Replace belts. Replace belts. Did I miss something? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's just suppose we only need one of these for the moment. And two fluids and sulfur, which is two more fluids. That really is a pain getting the water down here. Um really is a pain. Okay. Look how far away it is. That's unfortunate. Okay, so that is water, and we need petroleum. Substations are ever so slightly in the way. Never mind. Uh, petroleum. That's a niner, and that is a seven, and corner, 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 corner. All right, so that's our sulfur. It's being rather slow. Everything returns one to one, but the cooling takes some. Uh, when you like run it through a computer or something, I think it returns it one to one. Although when you're turning, um, let's see, yeah, that returns one to one. But when you're converting from one temperature to another, there's a little bit of loss. 500 to 499 and there's no loss here actually it's only when you run it through the uh, uh, thermal radiator you lose a fifth of a percent 
getting it to negative 10 degrees. Um, is this okay? That this is one way? Or should this pump go over here? Dark purple, you're up. That's a fiver. That's weird. Shouldn't it be three fives? Oh, this isn't a... Wait, what? Yeah, that one starts one tile off compared to these. Five, nine, five. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's just add that there. And that just leaves this one. I think that's a seven, which leaves us with a five and a three. Okay, I think, I think we do want to, um, limit the actual production here, instead of having a pump there. So this one is set to everything less than 12,000. Um, as for these, that should be fine, I think. No, I think we want to do the same thing here, but... I, I want the stored cool thermofluid to be accessible to this one, uh, to the hypercoolers. But I want to be able to limit production from these to keep this not full. Which means we need to change the shape of this, I think. Unless, um... One thing we could do is... use this to limit it. So we limit the input instead of the output. So we don't put... So this is the input to that, this is the input to that. We only... If this thing is more than half full, we don't make more 25 degree thermofluid. Uh, and if negative 10 degree thermofluid is more than half full, we cut off the input for these. I think that's right. That's a lot of short undergrounds. What, over here? You can only do them five tiles apart with the space undergrounds for some reason. Even though, if anything, it would make more sense that they could be longer in space since you're just going underneath the platform. Since nothing returns cool, there's no need to limit. Now, the, now nothing returns cool. Does it not? Well, it's done now anyway. I mean the belts? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's really unfortunate that this doesn't... Wait. Oh, this does reach across here. Well. 
Let's carefully remove a bunch of these. And we'll set it up so that we can use the keyboard for the cardinal direction precision. Uh, I need to be careful I'm not removing pipes when I do this. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That should do it. And I'll do all of these ones while we're here. Nice, that's a bit better. this way until we run into a pipe I wonder why the automatic um, dragging across to make the undergrounds doesn't recognize which one of those were unnecessary I'm glad it's not uh, short at the end as well. Okay. Can I just? Why? Why didn't I do this before? Um. Blacklist, underground pipe, or I guess whitelist. Uh, space underground belt. And let's try that again. Fantastic. This one. And this one. And this one. This one. And I think it's this one. Nice. Oops. There we go. Is this still Space Science Revamp? Yeah, we're almost done TM. It's uh, taking a surprisingly long time to put the finishing touches on it. But I think we're almost there. In fact, I think we might be there. We've got the stuff up here dealing with scrap, except I let that get full. Let's put a limit on these testing inserters. Uh, everything less than a thousand. I sh really should have done that before, it only took a second. Uh, let's remove these for the moment, get the bots to empty those out, that gets that back in motion, oh, we're full on heavy oil, I thought I made sure that can't happen, there's actually lots and lots of, that's frustrating, there's a lot of empty space in the oil storage over here, but the scrap machines have stopped because the heavy oil over here is full. Hmm. I could... I really don't want to or think that I should need to do this, but I could do something like this over and over again. It really should be unnecessary. Um, what else can be done? I guess we could have... I've actually got an idea. 
We'll turn it into a circle. Um, get some undergrounds up here. And a 3B. That goes there, and there, and there. Oh, look at that. This one's suddenly filling up kind of quickly. And we're getting heavy oil all the way to the end of this one quite easily. Well, that'll do it, I guess. That's a big bus just for science. Yeah, it really, really is. Um, I had this, what seemed like a pretty normal idea. Why did I put speed modules in this? It's fine. Um, I had this idea whereby I would have a machine make, for example, material science packs. And I wouldn't put speed modules in it. And then I would build machines to support that throughput. And it turns out this is this is how many it takes for astronomical science pack. Um, and when it comes to getting things from the ground, we can't really put these closer together unless they're in an alternating pattern or something. Which is still kind of difficult. And this is how many different resources we need to import. Uh, so yeah, it did end up significantly bigger than I had in mind. But on the plus side, I guess when we graduate to a rail system, we'll have a bunch of... We could just put a bunch of pickup stations down here to start with. Uh, but yeah, I think that might finally, maybe, do it. Oh, we need cosmic water and heavy oil. Um, do I want to run heavy oil all the way down like this again? Or I could put it in this pipe here. It seems like that would be easier in this instance. The pipes are already there, why not take advantage of them? Alright, so that's heavy oil. And... Where am I going? Over here. We need cosmic water as well. I can only do it this way. Five. Uh, three. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's just connect that up. And this one is going to look like this. One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty ugly. Uh, water goes in here. That's unfortunate. And underground. What are we looking for? Heavy oil. 
I guess I could have set a convention whereby I keep these undergrounds lined up before, but oh well. Seven. Uh, can we do some fives? Nope. Three, five, and seven. There we go. Cool. And this thing is switched off. Fantastic. Can that support this? It actually can. Okay. So we are making... Uh, rocket science. We don't appear to be making energy science. What's, pro what's the problem? We're missing catalogs. We're missing electromagnetic field data. Which one's that? That's polarization data. We seem to be missing that as well. Because there's no multispectral mirrors, because there's no heat shielding, because this bit of belt is ever so slightly messed up. But there was something else. Electromagnetic field data. We're missing ion stream. Uh. Oh. It's so hard to see that pipe is actually there. Okay, we seem to have the ion stream, but... Why did this one think it didn't have ions? Or was I looking at... Oh, whoops. Alright. I don't think that's the problem, though. Cold thermofluid... This doesn't seem to go anywhere. Yeah. We could connect it to this, or we could go over here. There's not quite room to make those connect properly. Let's just do it like this. Uh, is it this one? Yep. Seven. Five. Three. Fantastic. So it looks like we should be getting energy science in a moment. Let's check the next one. Uh, we're missing significant... Oh. Uh-oh. The output for blank data cards is full. We do have a priority merge for them over here. That seems to be working. Hmm... Do we just need to wait a while? I didn't change anything here yet. So it's been running like this for a while. Um, oh, there we go. Has it just gotten really slow because we're not getting rid of the blank data cards? It seems like it. Huh. I'm not sure what to do about that. We could always add something here. Um, everything equals zero. So that'll not only prioritize this belt, but 
it needs to be empty before we let this stuff through. So we should see this belt beginning to empty over here. Uh, we're down to 19 of these. Gonna take a minute to see if that's working properly. How about biological science? We do not have catalogs. Why don't we have catalogs? Because we don't have biomechanical data. Why do we not have biomechanical data? Because we don't have lubricant. We don't have lubricant because this pipe doesn't go anywhere. Um, okay. What's the best way to get lubricant? I could run a pipe straight through here with a lot of undergrounds. You know what? I think I will. It's a little ugly, but not as much as having to go around. All right, where's the loop? Seven, not good enough. Five, three, and seven. There we go, biomechanical data. And as far as I know, that should get all of this in motion again. Uh, astronomical. Seems to be doing just fine. Not seeing any issues with getting stuck on blank data cards. Cosmic water pipes not connected. Uh, whereabouts? El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe just problems right after connection, and when you finish everything, gonna balance itself over time? Maybe. Astronomical science seems to be doing just fine. It's gonna take a minute to see if... Now we're missing biocombustion data. Too many junk data cards, because this belt doesn't go anywhere. Because I never finished this part. Okay. Let's fix that. And... It's gonna be a bit of a pain to reverse all these. Oh, especially when that happens. Let's be a bit more careful, I guess. And where does this go? That's fine. Let's do this. And... This. I guess this side, actually. Actually, how many blank uh, junk data cards does this whole thing make? 4.2. I don't think we need a splitter to merge that. Uh... Oh, right, I see. Okay, so we need junk to go back where it belongs. And may 
as well put a proper merger in. Oops. Okay. So that should be bioscience. See everything in motion. Fantastic. What about material science? Have we given it enough time to... That's worse. Pipe bus? It seems not to be necessary, though. Cosmic water pipe not connected. Uh, what's it not connected to? Cosmic water... Oh. Don't tell me. We just happen to not need cosmic water all the way down here. Looks like that's the case. I'll put this here for completeness sake. Um... Right, so what's the deal with material science and these blank data cards? They're not moving at all now. I think the whole thing might actually be stuck. Would it get to this point otherwise? All right, let's see. Oh, hello, my inserter friend. Two different items on one side of the belt. Uh, for which belt? Was it junk stuff? Uh, Spuckminator? Nice name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so that's looking stuck again. Hmm. I want to give it some more space to see if, as it is now, it'll have that problem with the strict input priority from this side. Are you net negative or positive on cards for this loop build? I'm pretty sure all of them go net negative. Yeah, net negative on blank data cards. And I didn't have the circuit wire here before, but I did have input priority from this side. So you would think that would prevent it from getting jammed up like that. All right, let's empty this, and what are we waiting on here? Impressive strength data? Impressive... Oh, it's full on contaminated cosmic water output because that doesn't go anywhere. Okay. And this lubricant isn't connected either. This one isn't. This one isn't. And apparently even this one isn't. Wait, what? No, the fluid system contents for the entire lubricant system is 260? How... You're kidding. Oh, oh, okay, that that would probably help. Even so. Okay, there's 244... Oh, right. 245k. Okay, cool. Now we can check... 245k... 245k... 245k. Right. 
So that is definitely connected up. Um, the contaminated cosmic water, 2.2k only. Contaminated cosmic water. Where does it connect? Here, 3k, 1.8k. So those are definitely not... This one might be connected to where it's supposed to be. Doesn't look like it goes anywhere, though. That's weird. That's very weird. How can there be 3,000? Uh, 13 plus 20 undergrounds. I guess that is about 3,000. Alright, let's, um, empty that. And we should be able to pre see pretty clearly those are not connected. Alright. Let's get these ones sorted out. And like so. Perfect. And contaminated cosmic water. That's almost perfect. Nine and five. All right. That should have that working. I wonder if that's why... Yeah, that's probably the reason. So, we didn't... It only outputs one contaminated cosmic water per recipe. And it had to get above 3,000 for this to get blocked by the fluid output. So it actually got blocked by this, and it... I think it made it look like um, this was the problem. Could be wrong. I, I do see this part of the belt moving still. Um... Maybe if we put a lane balancer right here. Can I fit one? Pretty sure I can. There we go. A Nyron Wolf. Thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Alright, cool. So this stuff is not moving at all while that's there. Even if it's only on one side. Uh, with some exceptions. Hmm. Well, okay. If it comes in here... On the other hand, I could just... Do it like this. Read belt contents hold. 
everything equals zero. That'll mean that we strictly have to empty this belt before this moves. And it should be able to consume what's on this side. Yeah. It's just going to prioritize consuming this side. Okay. So, material science is go. Uh, biological science is looking good. I wonder if we need to do another strict priority over here. May as well. Um, and over here. Can we maybe copy that? There we go. No significant data because blank data cards have backed up. Do I need to do anything to fix that? I don't think so. I think the sheer volume of blank data cards will be consumed over here. I'm probably going to take care of that. Why is this not getting to the end of the belt? Visible observation frame. I thought I over-ratioed these. I'm not seeing all of these uh, telescopes moving. No blank observation frames. It's the light oil. Okay then. So we probably need even more oil um, production if we're going to keep up with the base at full speed. That's fine. We can copy-paste this and build it almost anywhere. I'm not going to worry about expanding that right now. Bottom right. Clear the belt, then all the machines would be backed up. It's the same item, my quality of the stream just went P.O.E. for a moment. Same item. Are you net negative? Yep. Seeing something not being side balanced is always a little frustrating. I mean, it is side balanced in the sense that we don't care which side this is consumed from. Uh, we just gotta empty this belt first. Okay, is that going to make room? Not really. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think this will work. And those two are obviously working. Energy science is... Thermo fluid is full. Uh-oh. Fluid system contents 10k. Fluid system contents 105k. That doesn't sound right. Uh, let's see. This doesn't go anywhere. There we go. Minor detail. All right, seems like energy science is doing okay. Although the fast inserter here can barely keep up. And of course, regular science is not a problem. Okay, I think this might be it. I think that's our blueprint. Um, 
Are we going to be able to blueprint all of this? Like, is the fog of war going to be a problem? Are we allowed to make a blueprint this big? <laughs> Let's find out. Uh, don't crash the game. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of the infinity emulator, super substation. There's three infinity pipes here somewhere still. I think I should probably find those. Where are the infinity pipes? I think I went past them. Autosave made me think it crashed. Where are these infinity pipes? And the inserter with no power? Oh no. Infinity Pike. Where be the Infinity Pike? Oh, I found one. I found three. Where is it? Oh, it's still over here. That probably isn't helping with the testing. You know the one I've been pointing out all stream? I keep missing it. Which which build is it in? I thought I thought there was a lone inserter with no power that I did fix earlier though. Last one. Okay. I I'm not seeing it. Is, did, it, wasn't it, like, here? Didn't I fix it? Oh! You sneak! And then those two... Alright, you know what? You're getting a medium pole. We did it. It's even blinking? Yeah, but look at all the... the look at all the visual noise. There's so much going on here. Alright, alright. Meet the Scotch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Smeagol, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. And, uh, Hutz, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Alright, thanks for pointing that out, guys. Um, so if those were the only three, uh, Infinity Pipes. I think this is probably it. God, this took a lot... God, this ended up being a lot bigger than I expected. Uh, don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need those. And... 2.4k speed modules. Wow. I think the rest is legit. Oh, except for you. I think that's it. And we're not saving the tiles. Okay, what should we call this? Uh... I'm just gonna put those there. Main bus tier one space science. And why am I... Oh, I see. That's gonna go way down here for now. Fantastic. Spaghetti? No spaghetti. 
science or spaghetti. Stick blueprint, thank you. All right, I guess it's time we. Oh, I should probably. Um, you know what? I think we can figure this one out in game. It's almost exactly the same as um. Oops. It's almost exactly the same as a uh, regular nuclear plant. Let's give that a save, and head on back to regular old space exploration. It's going to take a lot to build this thing, even with the skeleton version of it. Did the pipe at the... Th Thermo fluid have a purpose? What do you mean by that? The infinity pipes? Those were for testing before we actually made the fluid properly. Ah, uh, snowy Nervous. It has been a minute. That is a lot of big electric motors. Wow. And we're almost full on... Vita Melange Spice and Extract. Extract has got a long way to go, actually. The Infinite you removed, yes. Yeah, the Infinite's are uh, cheaty items. They're there for testing. Um, Iridium Plates are taking their sweet time as well. Alright, I'm kind of... Uh... I kind of need to get my bearings again, to be honest. Oh, that is a nasty looking bunch of biters. When are they going to turn? Oh, they're going straight down. Not as scary as I thought. That's good. Went there infinity... Infinity chests and energy too. Yeah, I removed those from the blueprint. You just have to right-click things to remove them. 50,000 space belt. Jeez. Okay. I kind of want to go to a new planet and try out... Uh, I'm pretty sure I made a blueprint for... Yeah, there it is. Minimal core mining. And I was going to try and do the same thing as this, but with cargo rockets. Except that turned out to be way harder than expected. Unless you want to go ahead and use three different landing pads just to support the cargo rockets. Um, but this is just communication, a chest to receive what's required to make the cannon shells, cannon to send stuff away, and we just pour mine stuff straight into the cannon. And obviously we'll need to power this thing as well. Um, looking to do that on... Well, honestly, it might be worth doing on some planets we've already been to. This one gives us crude oil, though. Crude oil, crude oil, uranium, vitamelange. Uh, any biters here? Mild, earthly, humid, woods, lakes, killy. Biter meteors, that's not great. So we need to add to our blueprint what's required to... Um, to keep anti-media going. I think I remember someone saying, and it looks to be the case, that any planet that gives you Vitamelange uh, will have Biter Meteors. Holmanite, we don't actually have any yet. Threat 7%, no Biter Meteors. Size is pretty big. Um... We can't exactly 
Okay, I might... Where are the biters? I might want to scan this planet. Um, scan surface. If we can secure an island, that'd be good enough. Oh, and I forgot the minor detail of setting up anti-media defenses, if only point defenses, um, for that minimal, uh, minimal core mining setup. But I'm hoping we'll find this is all on an island, perhaps. If that's the case, why are there no biters? It said threat 7%, didn't it? I'm sure it did. Let's check. Threat 7%. Okay. I suppose all we need is to find a small island. But not too small. Like... This one, actually. Yeah, we could core mine from here, and if there are biters, then we won't have to worry about them as long as we can. Oh, there's worms. Why are there worms but no spawners? Oh, there's a spawner. Okay, we should probably uh stop all scans, trim surface. That's gonna have the biters spread otherwise. Speaking of getting your bearings, will you update the stream archive onto YouTube? Uh, yes. I think I lost some of the old, uh, some of the episodes though, unfortunately. It's gonna be a gap. Um, now the make the, co make the complete base eco-friendly with no pollution? How do that? Uh, this stuff only requires steel and coal. And I think... Let's see. Oh, we weren't already sending steel, but we could. If we send this stuff... Well, it'll have to be copper. But this stuff plus steel plus coal... And then we can make some um, anti-media defenses. I would send the materials to make media defense installations, uh, the big ones, but two things. It requires way more power, and also we need infrastructure to make batteries. That's a nuisance. Uh, let's browse the planets a bit more. I'd really like to find one waterless. I'd like to find a undefended planet. 3%. To try out this, um... I think we will go to Via Terra. Let's start preparing, shall we? Oh, Spidertron is very, very, very slowly getting researched. Nice. It's about time. Universe Explorer has a filter. Might be quicker to find it. Good point. Uh, let's just drop in here first. Universe Explorer. Radius. Priority. I don't know if you can... F oh, threat. There we go. 0%. And a lot of this is super far away and we haven't actually scanned it. Hagen. I think we were planning to go to Hagen anyway. Let's have a look. Is it over here? Hagen, 0%. Cryonite. Okay. 
Do we have any islands? Absolutely not. But we don't need any. There's no biters. Um, yeah, that might work. Let's go to Hagen and get our infinite cryonite. Um, so f I think over here somewhere we have our expedition rocket. Here it is. Uh, we could probably use some more flat solar panels. Although I guess we won't need that many. Uh, let's remove the uh, nuclear reactor stuff. And this as well. Might not be the worst idea to take some pipes, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I kind of want to start over with figuring out what we're taking. I mean, it really doesn't hurt to take too much stuff. But I would like to figure out a kit for what we take for the minimal, um, the minimal core mining setup. Solar will be challenging on that planet. That's possibly a good point. 22%. The only other option is... Uh, I think there's literally no uranium here. Oh, what's that? Barrel. Let's see. Yeah, there's... Practically no uranium. Um, if I don't send enough solar panels, it'll work slowly, but only if we don't bother with anti media defense. Let me just check the Point defenses, which are a lot more energy cheap. 50% accuracy, but it shoots up to four meteors per volley. Does that mean it'll shoot four times at one meteor? Must be loaded with meteor defense ammo. I think we should probably have like four of these. And we can probably fit... Well, let's find out. Space exploration. Oh yeah, I, th I think we can probably fit... Um, I'm gonna go grab some. We can probably fit all of that underneath the umbrella of some point defenses. And it's gonna be a lot cheaper and easier to keep it running. Uh, where is our point defense? Here we go. Uh, let's see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, it stacks to 50. Alright, how big is this? Uh, radar... Oh. Easily. Very, very easily. Okay. So... Two more things that we want sent to this delivery cannon. Pull. 
and steel. We can put those in a delivery cannon. Yes, good. And we need to make ammo. And can we just place these around it? Nice. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Um, I guess it actually makes more sense if we... Uh, if we have a tier 1 assembly machine here, uses less power, but... Well, what's the difference? Min consumption, 12.5 kilowatts versus 2.5. It's literally 10 kilowatts. I'm not going to worry that much about it. Um, I guess we could go for some slow inserters over there, though. Ah, oh, what the hell. Much more energy efficient. Let's update this blueprint. Uh, select new contents. And... Pretty sure that's it. Now, what do we need here? I'll take some extra of these things to make sure we don't lose them. Chest. Um, some inserters. We should be carrying those anyway. Assemble machine. And inserters. Core mining drill, check. You won't lose that if it takes up a whole stack. Uh, we also need rocket fuel to get back. How much rocket fuel are we taking? I think we're already... Oh. Uh... I don't really know how I can calculate... Let's see. If we aim this at... Which planet was it? Pagan. Pagan? No, wait. Why can't I... Oh, there it is anyway, Hagen. So that requires 110,000 liquid rocket fuel. Uh, to get that much, we need... This is all per second, but if I multiply it out enough... Wait, no. Looking at this one. Uh... Looks like 16 rocket fuel makes nearly a thousand. So... Let's let's use uh, Plano, shall we? Liquid rocket fuel. Liquid 
rocket fuel. Can I set a target? Or are we only able to set a throughput target? Deliver nuclear fuel there? That's a temporary measure. And we can't deliver it by cannon. We'd have to deliver it as iron plate and 235. And then that has its own problems as well. We also have to deal with the nuclear waste. We need centrifuges. It's, it's a pain I would rather avoid if I can. Production percent. Productivity 20, plus 24%. Okay, so let's do it this way. One solid rocket fuel makes 50 times 1.24. Uh, 62. 100,000 divided by 62. We need 2,480. Let's call it 2,500 solid rocket fuel. Should definitely be enough to come back. Twenty five hundred. Hey, Christoph Game. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we will need a fuel refinery. And I don't know what else. Well, obviously solar panels. Um, difficult to know how many we're going to need for each planet. For that as well. Um, but yeah, that is going to wrap it up for today. Let's see who is playing Factorio. Factorio. We got Diablo, who's usually finishing up right about now. Uh, I think we raided Kimp last time. That one's Russian. That one's German. German. Russian. Thanks, awesome cat. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Alvin as well. Solar will be challenging on that planet. Yeah, it's the volume of solar will be challenging, but it's still the simplest way to do it. Uh, Alright, I think we'll try this person today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. Or if you have any questions, by all means, let me know. And uh, tomorrow I'm getting my booster, so probably not going to have a problem streaming tomorrow, but after that, we'll see. Wish me luck on that front. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Take care.